very often in our urban settings and urban harbors, we don't have spaces for salt marshes. We just don't. There is no more, you know, are you going to have a pier or marina, are you going to have a salt marsh? This is the uh, questions that we are constantly uh, trying to balance. And in this case, this living lab, a mimicry living lab that we are starting just in front of our new science building on the campus, is going to try to test and build floating islands that will try to support both human structures, like piers, and also ecological uh, services and structures like uh, fringing salt marsh, so that they can buffer uh, our shoreline and at the same time provide a habitat for beautiful different species of shellfish. And I will show you that, you know, here, when I take you to some other fringing salt marshes, you will see the amazing uh, layers of life. Here, you have to really search in order to find a little tiny uh, mud crabs or what very often lives as part of the system, root system of Spartina is mussels. They're attached with the byssus threads to the stone. This is a blue mussel here on, and this one is a beautiful, just beautiful rib mussel. Rib mussels are essential part of the salt marshes. They live in between roots of the salt marshes and there is amazing symbiosis between them. They provide each other uh, with the nutrients, energy, water exchange, and also protection. We are trying to not only learn as a biologist, learn about this beautiful plant or its system it creates here, but also learn from this system how did they adapt through evolution, through hundreds of millions of years? How can we build our human structures that can support ecological services?